Hi, Mr. Smith. My name is Tammy. I'm going to be your nurse tonight from 7, 8, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Um, I'm going to be in charge of your medications and anything wrong with your Foley. How are you feeling right now? Oh, you're felt having a little bit of pain down here? Okay. So he's having super bubic pain. First, I'm just going to do some hand hygiene. Is it okay if I touch your stomach? Okay. Yes. Can, can you tell me your date of birth? February 26, 1962. Okay, just wanted to make sure. All right, so I'm just going to press a little. Oh, you are uh, you are kind of descended. Uh, yeah. So, okay, what we're going to do is first we're going to clamp that fully. Um, it looks like you have about 600 out. So what we're going to need to do is irrigate your uh, CBI, okay? You've got a clot that's obstructing your tube, and we need to get that clot out of the way so that we can empty your bladder. Is that okay with you? Yes, just help. Okay. Well, just in case, I'm going to do hand hygiene again as I was touching everything. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some sterile saline and um, a syringe. to push the clot out of the way. Again, is that still okay with you? Yes, just help. Okay, we're going to do this. I usually open a couple just to make sure that I'm prepared, just in case. They're kind of small. So, you're going to double check, make sure you do have your Foley, three-way Foley clamped. You are going to make sure you position yourself that all of these things are out of the way because you don't want them to get in the way after you've already cleaned. So you want to clean this area really well. Just because I can, I'm do it again. Out of habit, I always pinch here before I pull it out, just in case you have a little bit of urine just barely passing that clot. Um, and we're going to empty this fluid into this container, okay? Um, this is going to be normally would be a sterile container um, since we don't have one. That's what it's serving as, okay? So when we pull this apart, you want to. Sometimes you're going to have to wiggle it. You want to hold this far away, but be, be cognizant to make sure you don't touch anything else. So I'm pulling up. Normally, people use whatever uh, they can hold in their hand. Um, bigger people can hold the full 60 to 50 mLs. Smaller people, you know, can only hold like 30 to 40. So that's what I'm going to use. Like I said, we're going to use whatever amount of fluid we can hold and so now I'm going to push 30 cc's of fluid slowly they're going to uh, feel it they're going to be uncomfortable uh, don't be surprised uh, we're going to pull 30 back and you want to see sometimes you're going to see the clots in the tube okay so what we'll do is into here and we're going to see if it drains and right now, normally it would be draining. Um, if not, you would need to do it again. So I'm going to go ahead and clamp it just in case. We're going to do another 30 in my case. Going to reconnect it. Um, some practitioners prefer that we use a little bit more pressure this next time. But still keep in mind that you will be causing pain for the patient. Okay? So I'm going to go a little faster. Uh, 30 cc's in. Uh, and I'm going to pull the 30 cc's back. And then I'm going to disconnect. Make sure you're pinching at this or you're going to get uh, fluid all over the bed. So right now, like I said, normally it would be draining. If it's not, you're gonna do it again, okay?
So here we go again. Make sure you do not touch the tip of the catheter to anything around you. If you do, you need to stop and clean it. So again, I'm going to do 30 cc's. Here we go. Connecting. And I'm pushing just a little bit faster. Again, more pain, more uncomfortable. Patient might be screaming at you, but, uh, but most of the time, let's see if, oh, look at that. It's coming out this time and it's draining. And the patient says, oh, it feels better. Oh, okay. Thank you. Good. So what we want to do is make sure that, again, we don't touch this tip to anything and make sure that we maintain our sterility. And you want to make sure that everything is straight. You always want your Foley tubing to be straight and not kinked because it will not drain right. And even though these systems are made to be closed systems, they still can backflow and cause urinary um, infection. So now that we know that it's flowing because it's flowing a little bit of urine, we are going to unclamp it and have the flow. You should see it draining in the tube because if your bag is wide open with the clamp being wide open because we can control the rate by this clamp it can go this is wide open the fastest as it will go to where you can get it barely barely dripping and to control this you have to eyeball the uh, drip chamber Maybe hard to see. but see how I can control the rate with going up or down, wide open, or very slow. Okay? And you want to control this based on the color of your urine. When you first get a patient right out of a Turk surgery, you are it's going to be bright, bright red. Don't be alarmed. But if it's, it still needs to be running, you might see clots in the line. Again, perfectly normal. But it's when it stops working that it's not normal. And you're going to titrate it to the color you see in the bag. You need to be doing rounding to check. These bags empty fast. And that bag fills up fast. And if that bag fills up, also the patient is going to have urine backing up. And having the, your, the pressure on their bladder and the, the pain. So it's your job to round and be checking on... Your patient status and as long as you see the urine improving you can titrate the, the rate down if it starts getting very bloody again normally you have to titrate it back up if you have questions you should ask one of your senior nurses that are around or your charge nurse they should be able to help you thank you